What up, you nerds? Fallout here, and today I've got a great little trick for you from Reddit user, uh, Jesus Christ, Register Vex Offender, where the TLDR is that you can run any legendary Lost Sector you want and still guarantee that the exotics you acquire from farming that Lost Sector will decrypt into the exact type of exotic armor you want. Bear with me on this, I'm gonna break it down for you. Right now, you hover over the legendary or master lost sector of the day, the legendary being 1300 power level and the master being 1330, it tells you what kind of exotic armor you would get from soloing that activity. However, what if the legendary lost sector that day, or the master, is really tough and not optimal for farming, but it's offering the exact type of exotic armor that you really want? Do you sack up, grit your teeth and do it? Answer, hell to the nah, because with the method I'm about to show you, you can easily bang out any short, low effort lost sector and still get the exact type of exotic armor you want, despite what it's offering you that day. That's kind of a big deal when you stop to realize that some lost sectors in the game are so short, you can blow through them in under two minutes. So let's talk about that method. But before we get going, I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Ridge Wallets. These things are beautiful, and I'm glad to promote them on my channel because I've actually been using one myself for about the past year. No joke, this right here has been my actual wallet. A lot of guys I know are still lugging around wallets like this. Big, bulky, floppy, and uncomfortable, doesn't sit well in your pocket, and you gotta move it around when you sit down. As I mentioned, over a year of the Ridge Wallet, and I'm just never going back. It's light, sleek, and efficient. It doesn't fold or bulge out awkwardly in your pocket. It's got room for all my cards and a clip for bills when I am carrying cash. They've got over 30 colors and styles on their website, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. Sounds like a destiny shader. They've got 30,000 five star reviews. One of them being mine, and each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. Yes, you can buy just one wallet and boom, carry and use it for life. The Ridge is so confident you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days, and if you don't, you can send it back for a full refund. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash falloutplays and use promo code falloutplays. Link to their site in the video description, and thank you again to Ridge for sponsoring today's video. All right, back to the content. Here is how you do it. Step number one, make sure that on the Guardian you intend to farm with, you gotta make sure that your inventory is 100% completely filled with engrams. The reason we're doing that is when your guardian is full on engrams, when you beat a legendary lost sector and get an exotic, it'll automatically get bumped back to the postmaster, and that is what we want. Step number two is to wait for a really low effort legendary lost sector to farm. You can farm this in the 1330 master lost sector, but I don't really notice a difference in the exotic drop rate. Not really sure that there is one. Again, if you're banging out legendary lost sector runs, ideally in around two minutes, I say do that over and over and keep filling your postmaster up with exotic engrams. Take a look right over here real quick. We have the legendary lost sector calendar that I put together a little while ago from a different video. Shows exactly which lost sector will be around on what day. Now you can go through and pick whatever lost sector you think might be the absolute easiest to burn through and wait for the right day. Yeah, I know for a lot of people, farming doesn't always involve waiting. If you want, you can always load up the legendary lost sector of the day and try your luck at burning through. But for me, it's probably worth the wait for one of the easier ones. If you'll take note, I have strategically released today's video on Wednesday the 14th. Tomorrow, Thursday the 15th, is the Velez Labyrinth Lost Sector, which might be the easiest one to burn through of all time. Well, Fallout, why didn't you release the video on Thursday? Well, not everyone catches these videos the exact day that I put them out, so I wanted to give everyone enough time to plan ahead. Step number three is to farm the bejesus out of that Lost Sector. Rip through it as many times as you have the patience to do, and again, make sure all your engrams are going back to the Postmaster. Remember that exotic engrams that are power level zero in your Postmaster are actually enhancement cores. You can grab those real quick or delete them, no biggie. The engrams you see in there though with an actual power level those are exotic. Step number four is to now wait until whatever type of exotic armor you want your held exotics to decrypt into is the type of exotic armor being rewarded at the master level, i.e. the 1330 power level lost sector, 
that day. For example, here I have a few exotics that I farmed for in the Concealed Void Lost Sector from April 11th. That day, Concealed Void was offering the chest armor, but the 1330 Lost Sector that day, K1 Revelation on the Moon, was rewarding gauntlet armor. If I go to the Postmaster and open up those held exotic engrams, boom, they auto decrypt into whatever gear is being offered at the 1330 Lost Sector that day. In this example, gauntlet armor. See what I'm driving at here? You go into Vela's Labyrinth because it's easy and short. You farm the crap out of it until your postmaster is dripping with exotic engrams, and then you just look at the calendar and pick what day you want to decrypt those engrams, depending on what kind of armor you want. Looking to get a new exotic helmet? Open them on April 17th, when the 1330 that day rewards helmet armor. Want legs? Open them on April 18th, when the 1330 that day rewards leg armor. Whenever you open those held exotics, they will decrypt into whatever the 1330 is rewarding that day. Now you've got a targeted exotic armor farm that's even easier before, and you can do it without having to refigure out new strategies for whatever Lost Sector happens to be on the table that day. Pick an easy one, blow through it, hoard engrams, and open whenever profit. The quick clip I'm about to show you is from a friend of a friend burning through the Velez Labyrinth Lost Sector in pretty much the blink of an eye. Granted, when he did it, it was in a different season, so there were a few things around then that we don't have access to now, like the unstoppable shotgun armor mod. But the concept of blowing through the labyrinth remains the same in Season of the Chosen. Run through as quickly as you can. The only enemies you really need to kill are the champions, because remember, exotic armor will only drop if you get a platinum tier complete which you can only get by killing all the champions. If you want, swing by my Twitch channel on Thursday, April 15th. Yes, I have a Twitch channel, and I will run the Lost Sector a few times to figure out a good, quick, new loadout for the current season. I have a brand new Patreon, by the way, which I only started a few days ago. If you're not really a live stream type of viewer, but you want to support the channel in a different way, feel free to check it out. Click like if today's video helped you out in any way, and as always, click the big red subscribe button and help me with my oh-so-humble goal of becoming the sole ruler of the world. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time time.